going on there folks it's the earth master here on this beautiful saturday night february 4th 2023 it's about 10 27 p.m here along the west coast in uh, california getting a little bit more rain as we speak latest earthquake here looks like a uh, 2.3.2 excuse me there on the globe uh, a couple earthquakes here within the last hour around the mediterranean region and areas around turkey Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here across the USGS map. Did see a couple earthquakes around the uh, region of the Mediterranean today. Not a whole lot showing up here across the uh, USGS map, but we did see a little up, a little uptick in earthquake activity across the eastern Afghanistan area. Quite a few fours kicking up there. We'll check out the um, uh, earthquake 3D globe here in just a little bit on some of the smaller quakes. A little bit of activity down here in the extreme southwestern edge of Australia coming in uh, earlier this afternoon. We don't really see too much earthquake activity out here. Um, a look at historical data for the region looks as though, uh, let me bring up the latest historical data here since about 1900. Literally within this region, this is the only 4.5 earthquake recorded. Uh, since about 1900 or so um, doesn't mean that's you know there's never been earthquake activity out there I'm not for sure exactly what type of fault systems are out here but it's a ways away from the uh, major plate boundaries that sit down south uh, historically though uh, a little bit further north it looks like there's been some uh, larger quakes between 5.0 and 6.0 um, well north east of uh, is that Perth Hopefully I am pronouncing that correctly. I am not too familiar with the Australian uh, communities and towns and cities. But uh, either way, a little bit of activity kicking up there today uh, with that 4.5 in the area of, um, well, I guess they would call that southwestern Australia, right? Hopefully. All right, uh, let, looking back over here towards New Zealand, a little bit of activity from last night. Now look at the earthquake 3D globe here. Shows uh, not a whole lot going on across New Zealand, according to the GeoNet servers. Uh, at least nothing above the 2.5 threshold. Up around the Tonga Trench, things kind of rocking and rolling. And also around the Papua New Guinea area. I've seen some activity ramping up. Uh, around Tonga, the latest one shows a 5.0. Relatively shallow up here around the Tonga Trench. Things uh, may be starting to unzip, so to speak, up here. We'll watch that for some potential further movement. Also around the Papua New Guinea area. They had that 5.7 early this morning, uh, coming in at uh, 101 kilometers deep. We did see one further earthquake up here tonight, uh, back a little ways, 35 kilometers deep here, uh, north of the Solomon Sea area. This is a major region, uh, a little subduction zone here uh, that can produce some pretty large earthquakes, but for now a 4.7 in that area. A little bit of activity also kicking off the coast of Japan into the Izu Trench, the Izu Islands area. Very shallow earthquake at 10 kilometers deep. That, of course, is the defaulted depth here. Could be a little bit deeper, could be a little bit shallower. Uh, all I know there is a little bit of activity kicking up there today. Also down south into the area of the uh, northern end of the Mariana Trench. They call this the Volcano Islands, Japan region. This one about 40 kilometers deep. This area has been relatively quiet over the past... Uh, Oh, a couple weeks or so, it comes and goes in earthquake activity, but it's uh, been awfully quiet. So things may be starting to uh, pick up there in that region. Up north into the Kurokam Chaka Trench, around this bend area, seen a 4.8, 54 kilometers deep. A little bit of adjustment uh, down south and up north here. Got to watch this region right in here, the Kurokam Chaka Trench. I've been saying it for quite a while. I believe there's going to be a big one here. Uh, eventually, I think sooner than later. <clears throat> Over here, the Aleutian Trench, seen a little bit of activity this morning as well. And uh, things look like they're mellowing out slightly around the Aus uh, Alaska area, up into the Cook Inlet region, and uh, north of Anchorage, a little bit of microquake activity there today. Uh, into Canada region, around the Rocky Mountains, seen a 3.9. I'm surprised the USGS is reporting that. Uh, BC region of Canada, about 10 kilometers deep there for that 3.9. Pacific Northwest, a little bit of small earthquake activity. 
Uh, most of that looks like it's microquake activity. I'm really surprised that's being uh, reported up here on the map. I don't know. Maybe the USGS is uh, listening in. Good to see that here on the weekends. Uh, one earthquake out there around the Ferndale area, way off the coast here, into the Mendocino uh, Ridge out here. Early this morning for that 3.0. Nothing else showing up here in Northern California. And a quick glance of the trimmer map from today shows about 85 epicenters of trimmer into the southern Oregon area, southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, the rest of California, most of the activity in Northern Cal around the Clear Lake volcanic field, getting a little bit of activity here off the oceanic fault zone. Uh, majority of these are from last, actually early this morning, it looks like around one or two. A one for the earthquake this evening, a 1.7 along this area. I'm continuing to leave up the earthquake watch here just due to uh, continued earthquake activity here in Southern Cal, getting some of these fault systems that are back uh, along the side here on the Pacific side of the plate boundary shown activity. Uh, definitely a sign of uh, some regional stress here in the Southern portion of the state. 2.1 offshore, also 2.1 up North along the San Clemente or Cayetano fault, it looks like. Uh, and also here around this uh, junction where there's a lot of stress and fault system uh, fault systems and also plate boundaries it kind of uh, it's kind of a big deal there everything getting crunched up 0 0.8 11 kilometers deep another earthquake here within the last hour looks like near the running springs area 1.1 uh, but overall seismic activity here as mentioned appears to be on the increase still uh, from last night coming into uh, today's time period up here around the Bishop area, 1.7. And out in Nevada, around the Mina, Nevada area. Got uh, three earthquakes here. All within, uh, well, basically minutes of each other here. That's pretty crazy. Variable depths as well. Uh, let's see, Yellowstone National Park up here, not seeing too much. The Sawtooth Fault System around Idaho, a couple twos it looks like. Let me give a quick glance here at Yellowstone and see what uh, see what we have here for the latest data. Not a whole lot here as far as seismic activity across Yellowstone. Some uh, uh, a couple localized earthquakes here, very small, uh, but I believe some of these earthquakes are in Idaho uh, that we had mentioned there on the Sawtooth Vault System. What am I? Okay, there we go. Let's see, uh, Texas area, another 2.5 out around Minotone, Texas. 3.7 earlier, all this activity occurring uh, outside of Pecos, Texas area, right in the uh, oil field in the wastewater disposal well areas. Also around the Crowder, Oklahoma area, 2.4. Uh, and I was wondering about this. I, I checked it out this morning, and there's actually uh, quite a bit of uh, these uh, operations nearby as well. They're kind of hard to see. On the map, if you're that far out, you can kind of see some of these newer ones, but you have to zoom in to see uh, some of these older ones have been eroded away over time. But uh, there's definitely some uh, older pumping operations down here and uh, some wastewater disposal wells where the uh, 2.4 struck earlier this afternoon. New Madrid zone quiet. Eastern portion, a portion of the country as well is very quiet. Uh, big island, Pahala about it uh one little earthquake up here very shallow earthquake around the uh mauna loa area northeastern rift zone so on that note let's go ahead and see what's going on up there around mauna loa whenever we see activity up there kind of uh you know earthquake activity it's definitely worth watching a killer whale volcano is still continuing uh the eruptive stage there but i'm more concerned here uh, more interested i should say around the uh, mauna loa region of the big island and um looks like over the last 12 hours oh goodness i forgot it does that every single time uh looks like the last 12 hours just a little small earthquake activity no major swarm uh no major unusual activity to note there across the mauna loa region for now all right let's see uh what else is there south america region got um 5.5. This thing actually originally came in as a six-pointer. That is quite a downgrade there to a 5.5 uh, along the Chile coast area, uh, 68 kilometers deep. Look at the EMSC model globe here. 
Uh, it doesn't show a whole lot of activity in South America. Some smaller uh, earthquakes here, some twos and threes. But uh, that is about it. Um, let's see here. The Mediterranean region looks like, uh, as noted, they're definitely fairly active here today. Quite a few threes. Uh, and the latest one, a 3.1 coming in into the western Turkey area, about two kilometers deep. So a couple, uh, definitely a couple different regions worth watching uh, as we see this activity kind of spread out here along the northwestern edge of the Pacific Plate. I think that's very well um, noteworthy to mention the Kamchaka Trench. That one is primed and ready. And... Um, yeah, I'll just have to keep an eye on things, see how it plays out here, folks. All right, uh, I got to make this a short update. We did have a little bit of flaring activity kick up here, uh, almost into the M flare category, a C6.6 coming in earlier this evening. And uh, I believe that was from a region over here, a newer sunspot potentially on the horizon that could be rotating, or that will be rotating, rotating into view here pretty soon. Uh, let's see what we got. There's a couple different sunspots here, northeastern and the southeastern limb here of the sun that we'll watch in the coming days for some potential uh, further flaring. Right now, 75% chance for a C flare, M flare at 5%, X flare at 1. And uh, things are fairly green across the board when it comes to the uh, three day storming forecast. The geomagnetic uh, activity looks pretty uh, slim right now, there's not a whole lot of potential for the auroras up there at the higher latitudes. All right, guys, have a good night. It is Saturday night. I know it's kind of crazy, but uh, I think we're going to kick back here, finish our movie, me and Missy Mimi's, and we will be, uh, we'll be back here tomorrow sometime. Have yourself a great night. Enjoy the weekend, and uh, stay safe out there.